Look, I'll probably get into trouble for saying this, but I think the ultimate crime Donald Trump committed was that he hacked the American political system. He was the guy who won without being a senator, without being a governor. He was the one who started at the presidential level. Remember when he was calling out the BS of the intelligence agencies that led to things like the Iraq war, when the Democrat leader Chuck Schumer said that these intelligence agencies, when you criticise them, be careful because they'll come back at you a thousand different ways. Isn't this the real reason that Trump is in court today, that his true crime was hacking a closed system? It's very odd to think, and, and this is why life is so great, I suppose. It's very strange and odd and curious to think that a billionaire who's orange with crazy hair is the most common man amongst the people going against the elites. It doesn't really compute properly. That's why they hate him, because he likes his steak well done with ketchup, and he likes McDonald's, and he, you know, all of those things, and he gets out there. You know, who went to East Palestine first when we had that horrific disaster in Ohio uh, a month or two ago? It was Donald Trump. Bill, uh, Joe Biden has still not shown up there. So he is a man of the people, and they have now just given his supporters a lot of fodder. And uh, I, I would say the support for Trump is now certainly greater than it was two or three months ago. And we will see where all this leads. I mean, you know, if, the, if this trial, well, not a trial, but in essence, if these hearings are to continue over the next couple of months, does that hamper his ability to travel? Can he go campaign? Where can he fundraise? Is this going to bring up other issues? You know, there's also these, this impending case from Georgia coming after him. So, man, it has just begun.